the festival on the Theresian visa. The festival of the what what? Oh boy, you know this festival as Oktoberfest. It's episode 263 of the Hot Nation USA podcast. And as you may can tell from the special intro, it's our Oktoberfest episode. What the hell accent was that? He's a leprechaun, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> what it was? German, <laughs> German leprechaun. A true Deutsch leprechaun. <laughs> a true Deutsch leprechaun. <laughs> oh, boy. Yes. <laughs> What do you want me to do with this? I don't know. Think about it. Hey, I already came out last week that I'm on the side of the Irish ever since the Queen died. You so. came out last week? Yeah, as mm-hmm. on the side of the Irish. Um, <laughs> He's back inside. I've been closeted pro-Irish. <laughs> and now you can just spread it to the whole world? <laughs> yeah, now yeah. I spread it to the whole world. All right. We're proud of you, Steve. Uh, yeah. Everybody can hear it with their ears. All the better to hear with Jesus. Who? <laughs> Anyways... <laughs> It's our Oktoberfest episode, and as always, it's me, Steve, also joined by Adam. Of course. And our guests, Katie and Kelsey, also known as Casey. Hello. 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 We're back. <laughs> We're here to do the thing. We're going to do the thing. Yeah. We're going to do the thing. We're going to do the thing by comparing Oktoberfest beers. Yes. Yes. And we Mom. have two beers, and one of them is an Oktoberfest I like that. And the other is an Oktoberfest style. Oh. From America. Oh. <laughs> okay. And neither of them are technically Oktoberfest beers. And why not, Steve? <laughs> because. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Duh, Adam. Have Duh. you not been paying attention? Apparently not. <laughs> That's for later in the episode. The and parental then you'll learn. equivalent because I said so. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> reasons. <laughs> it's a because I said so, but you'll learn later in the episode. Okay, awesome. A yeah. little tease for mm-hmm. what's to come. Mm-hmm. TIO. Keep you keep you hooked till segment two, and then you'll learn. All right. But the first beer we're gonna start with comes from Yemeni. 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 And it is an Oktoberfest Marsen. Okay. It is from the Ayinger Private Browery. Okay. Yes. I'm I'm seeing all sorts of Oktoberfests going on here. Yes. And it's an authentic Bavarian festival lager. Comes in at 5.8 alcohol yeah. and it has 21 IBUs. Yeah. And you're supposed to find rich amber golden color and medium body. Medium to big body, according to that write-up. I like big body and I cannot lie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this brewery's been around since 1877. I'm still not hearing anything that throws me off the Oktoberfest scent. I know, and I'll tell you later. I know, and that's going to bug me. <laughs> I know, it will bug me. Patience, so with me. Adam. I'm, I'm going to be upsetting Patience. spaghetti through this entire segment. Great. Okay, cool. That's fine. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> you go sit in the corner and do what you want. <laughs> a girl at work asked a guy at work if he was upsetting spaghetti, and he apparently was because he threw down his tools and stormed off. Dude, he sick. was. Wow. <laughs> he was upsetting spaghetti. <laughs> Being a harumph for them. That, that was probably like the straw that, like, he was probably it was. mad. <laughs> He but was then actually, having it infant, <laughs> like just being infantilized like that. <laughs> yeah. I uh, talked to him later and I was like, did she really make you that mad? And he's like, no, I just needed to get away from another guy. And that was a perfect opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. <laughs> That's he smart. off and Tiff's like, I guess he was upset. He's spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Like, I, I hope he explained that to her later that he didn't that she I, didn't make him that mad. He just wanted an oh, excuse. No, she had annoyed him apparently prior to that. But <laughs> I did tell her that that was not the reason. Upset he spaghetti was not the reason he stormed off. So nice. Yeah. Well, as Adam sits there, upset he spaghetti. We'll pour this up and then we'll taste it. Okay. Okay. It looks like a beer. I mean, we it said, smells like a beer. Looks like yeah. apple juice. It looks like apple. Yeah, I mean, they they call it all the colors, right? This is mm-hmm. Mott's apple juice. It is Mott's apple juice, but it is uh, effervescent. It is carbonated. I didn't pay attention. Was so there a head on this? There was. All right. There was a nice, fluffy, nice, tight head. I did when I opened the bottle. It was a little uh, agitated. Mm. It was a little explodey. 
Uh, yeah. Splody beer. It came calm back down. It came back down. But and I will say, if you want to find out, you can follow us on Twitter, Hop Nation USA, to see the photos. And sometimes Instagram. Sometimes when, when remember. we remember. Yeah. When I remember. Well, yeah. <laughs> I've put something on there once. <laughs> I put a few things on there. <laughs> yeah. 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 You have definitely put more on there than I have. I yeah. like the posts. The posts. I, I don't I don't I don't put things on Instagram for y'all. I just click the like button. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Katie supports. Yes. We so, appreciate your presence. Somewhere close to the stories when I'm out and I about. share things. <laughs> yeah. The this week's story was all about how I got a DMCA takedown. On my one stop drinking trash shirt. Uh, so what'd you do, that. Steve? <laughs> so I made a brand new one <laughs> with a different logo that I stole. <laughs> Let's see how long this lasts. Yeah, yeah. I just, uh, that's the new cycle. That the these shirts will just keep going till I run out of labels to rip off yeah. of beers that I don't like. <laughs> uh, you're gonna be at this for a while then. Oh yeah, <laughs> got a list going. Dunk. <laughs> I didn't even move into the craft section yet. <laughs> I don't think I know what the first one was. What the was first it? one was Stella. Oh, what's yeah. the second one? Heineken. Well, that makes perfect See? sense. Yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah. And hey, where can you find this shirt, Steve? Go on that T Public Air. Let me know when we can expect Devil's Backbone. Uh, you know, it again, it's down the line. It is. <laughs> but the the quicker they get taken down, the quicker I have to, you know, the Hydra has to regrow a new head. <laughs> Do you have like a bunch just like on deck? Like, no, it's just whenever I get mad. <laughs> <laughs> some people run, some people hit the heavy bag. Steve just gets on Illustrator and yeah, <laughs> makes angry t shirt designs. It makes IP theft. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but the beer looks like a beer. It smells like a beer. It, it's kind of deeply like rich in the malt, but. Mm-hmm. It, it, we talked about this last week that it's kind of hard to really dive into these classic styles talking about you know the look and the smell and all that stuff because if you've had one you've had them all because so, they're all kind of in, in a narrow band they're in a narrow band and i would say yes if you've had one you've had something very very similar yes it's not like it's not like when you have like one pastry stout which is complete fucking garbage mm-hmm. and then you have one that's supposed to be the same thing right but actually works. These are much more like eh, subtle inconsistencies. Yes. They're classic for a reason. Yeah. Classic on their consistency. I'll say recently I had another Oktoberfest in preparation for this episode. Oh. And okay. it was the Peter Straub signature series. How was it? Eh. Oh. <laughs> oh, all right. But it still tastes somewhat similar to this Anger. Okay. But the Anger is a lot cleaner mm-hmm. and it has a much richer kind of malt. Uh, flavor on it but just uh, like the the peter straub was like caramelly and it had like a weird back end to it oh, i mean i don't i wouldn't mind the caramelly part of it but the weird back end i don't know mm-hmm. i might have to go investigate yeah you can go investigate i just don't think maybe it's as representative as okay a marzen as it as this is no right. so well those are my thoughts this other is people tasty. this so, is tasty <laughs> mm-hmm. i do enjoy this one you know, it's got a, a very nice sweetness to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like it. the first thing I get is that mm-hmm. the sweetness up front, but then it's like, mm, just got to kind of mellow out, hang out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It turns into a cozy sweetness. Yeah. 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 I would say so as well. Yeah. There's a reason it's been around for hundreds of years. Yes. <laughs> I could, I could probably do a stein of this. Yeah. I don't, too. I don't know that I could do more than one stein because that sweetness is pretty upfront and forward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but maybe after one time, you're like, I want another one. And then you get another mm. one. Depends on how many salty snacks I've had. and How, <laughs> true. how much have true. I balanced the other way with the diet? <laughs> <laughs> it's a package deal. Yeah. 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 Oh, no. Good beer. Yeah. yeah. Would yeah. recommend. Good beer. So that's our baseline. The yes. baseline is something from Germany. It's mm-hmm. old. It's from Bavaria. <laughs> all the boxes in my in yeah. my head are checked. Yes. All the boxes are checked. <laughs> I am old and from Germany. No, you're not. You are Irish. <laughs> My ancestry DNA updated. It said 5% <laughs> it <updated>. German. <laughs> they added more to it. <laughs> well, as more people participate, they get better ideas of results. Hmm. Hmm. I did not know that. Yeah, I have not done that. I refuse to. I don't need to know what I'm made of. I'm all American. Great A, B. <laughs> right here, baby. We have a rash of... Um, Please fit in that, finish that sentence. Unknown... <laughs> Serial killers. People mm. in my family. 
exiled? Like maybe two generations above me. A lot of siblings had kids that they were not permitted to raise due to the whole not being married thing. Oh. Oh. And uh, one of them found a cousin that did ancestry DNA just for funsies. Mm. And then when I asked my grandmother about it, it turned out there was a lot more. Oh, oh. family scandal. So <laughs> family scandal. that's not even the ba- I mean, we actually did know my great aunt had one. Um, we've always known because she as soon as she was 18, her records got unlocked and she found my great aunt. So yeah. it like, wasn't that big of a deal. Um, and then come to find out there was quite a few more. So um, I did it just to see if we could find anybody. Yeah. And then somewhere in the midst of it, um, on the other side of my family, we maybe found out my mom's dad is not her dad. So oh. <laughs> scandal. Oh. Oh. scandal. There's your scandal. Oh, oh no. Scandal. <laughs> Pop scandal USA. No. See, <laughs> yeah. see, I just don't do it because I've done a small amount of research mm-hmm. that's just available online. And I can trace family back to Austria. Okay. Mm-hmm. But it's just like one generation. I can't find any generations above it. And now I'm afraid of finding some sort of exile or war <laughs> criminal or, mm. and I just don't want that. <laughs> uh-huh. You don't want to see the family tree make a Southern, Southern turn down to Australia for a little bit. I, yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't want. <laughs> yeah, I have my uh, paternal great grandfather's immigration paperwork mm. from 1928. So we know when they got here from Scotland and how and all that stuff. From my mom's side, um, my great grandmother was an indentured servant. Oh, oh, mm. so Jeez. she came here from Canada, and before that was in St. Thomas, and before that, no one knew where she was from. Oh, mm. so it's been interesting to see a lot of that stuff. That is huh. actually cool. That's just been your ancestry DNA. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's your goods They're and bads of <laughs> finding out your history. Go get your tests, everyone. If you're interested in purchasing it, it's usually half off on Black Friday, and that's coming. Yeah. Fun. Uh, also, you can get discounts on your weed medical card. So, I don't know. Weigh your, <laughs> weigh your needs. <laughs> I mean, if they're on sale, get both. Yeah. But on to the news notes and meat of the week. Black Friday, you get a discount on your weed medical card? It's uh, all kinds of ones. Like, you can just get one now, I think. Hmm. You can just get a discount now. Like, because it's through some company that you do an online consultation with. Oh. And they'll just be like, yeah, whatever. You need it. You're, You're like, tired. my tummy hurts. Yeah. And they're like, oh, yeah, you need weed. I don't know anything <laughs> about weed anymore. Hmm. No, well, as far as PA goes, like, yeah, you just, hmm. like... Pick one of the listed conditions and say you have it. I already have several of them. I'm Same. sure you'll fit. <laughs> Same. Yeah. I'm, anxiety, sure, I'm sure you'll fit. Check. Yes, anxiety. On that's chronic one. pain, check. Chronic pain. IBS. That's the one I'm going with. <laughs> All right, good. I have spicy memories. <laughs> <laughs> that's trauma. <laughs> All right. On to the news notes and need of the week. Do it. And we're going to talk a lot about Oktoberfest and Oktoberfest goings on in the Weird. Pittsburgh area. But obviously, the big, biggest news is Oktoberfest is back. The real one. Really? Yes. Where does that happen? Germany. Huh. They got one of those. Yeah, in Munich. What month does that happen? It's happening this weekend. In Uh September? Uh Uh-huh. All the way till October. So sick of people screaming, it's not October. Save your bitch. You don't know anything. You know nothing. It's back, though. Yay. Yay. After a two-year hiatus. That's great. They got the tents up. They're doing the rides. They're doing the food. They're doing it all. And they're even doing it a little bit bigger this year because, one, they're getting an extra day. Oh. Because I think it ends on German Unity Day. Okay. Which is like a holiday over there. Okay. Like a a bank holiday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just take it off. So they get an extra day. I want to know what that's for. German Unity. (laughs) (laughs) It's right in the name. Yeah. And then uh, they're also just extending the general hours for tents and rides. Excellent. So everybody can have a nice big Oktoberfest. I'm sure if you're listening to this, you uh, either have been planning (laughs) or you're on your way there. You know, nobody is listening to this now and saying, oh, fuck, I got to get my tickets. (laughs) (laughs) That was now? Yeah. That's now? Oh, I have a couple days. Oh, no. But what you might be saying, oh, fuck, I got to get my tickets for is all the ones happening in Pittsburgh. Such as I'll I'll start, I'll start with uh, just a couple mentions, and mm-hmm. then you know we'll do another news story, and then we'll come back to the other ones that are happening. Uh, okay, gotta keep them hooked. Yeah, gotta keep them hooked. We got more for you. I'll actually go to a different story entirely. How about I do that? 
Okay. <laughs> what, this is all over the dial. I did, yeah. not, I did not see that surprise twist. Yeah. No, I this. like it. I'm going to do a different story entirely. <laughs> we got M. Night Shyamalan. And we'll end on Pittsburgh stuff. Oh, my God. M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> you got Shyamalan. So, yeah, the twist is, though, uh, the mayor of Cincinnati, mm-hmm. Ohio, they love their Oktoberfest. They do. They're they one, one of the ones. biggest German populations. Mm-hmm. They got big ones in Columbus and Cincinnati. So, uh, the mayor of Cincinnati says that Friday, if you're listening on this Friday. As you should. As you should. Uh, then yeah, today's a half day of work. <laughs> really? He said. <laughs> Just a half day. Yeah, he said it's a half day holiday. I like That's it. That's awesome. This guy's all right. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Or gal. I don't know. I don't know who the mayor of Cincinnati is. The fella. Your mom. Right. Yeah. Wow, she is awful good at hiding that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he, yeah, he says it's half day. So, you know, right. take off work. If you're listening to this at 9 a.m. <laughs> on a Friday, as you should, then yeah, you can fuck off at noon. Get out. <laughs> yeah. Go. Go have a beer. Tell your boss. Tell your boss we said. <laughs> and if they have a problem, tell them to take it up with the mayor. That's right. And take it up with us. <laughs> no, we're not going to fight for him. I don't know, but it'll just like give them enough distraction time. You said Cincinnati, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not defending people in Ohio. They're on their own. Agreed. <laughs> They're all the way over there. I didn't say we would do any work. I just said, tell your boss to take it up with us. And then in that interim of them making a call or sending an email, just sneak out. Oh, there you go. We're not, we're not going to fucking... Your yeah. boss can call, but they will be left on red. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're going to get met with either indifference or <laughs> just ghosted or whatever <laughs> no i like indifference i feel that's a good tact here yeah. yeah but yeah that's that's cincinnati adam your news <laughs> what a solid handoff that was yes. ready go <laughs> we're gonna stay in ohio okay why oh. why because we're gonna talk about kent state oh i've been drunk I... there <laughs> me too <laughs> the home with the golden flashes i don't sure. know what that because, means uh well apparently it's an eagle according to their their logo they now have an official beer the Kent State Golden Lager. Uh, um, like, can't be good. Uh, well, they're making it. Uh, it, is <laughs> <laughs> it is in collaboration with uh, Sibling Revelry. I know oh. we've talked about them here. Oh. We should have them on the show. Exactly. I, I mean, it's a good brewery. Yeah. So uh, they're going to hook up and they are going to be making the Golden Lager. They're going to kiss? Yes. Nice. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what it says here in the article. Nice. It's just, it just kids. shows Mike Tyson with two little doves. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kiff. Kiff. That's a lie. They were pigeons. Yeah. So that's it. What? The, pigeons. He yeah. trains pigeons. He trains pigeons. Dogs. Yeah. Did um, you not know that? Today I learned. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mike Tyson huh. has been training pigeons for a long time. And yeah. That's his like therapy. Messenger pigeons. I did oh. see a, a video of him in a bee costume dancing around and that was entertaining. Yeah. I don't think that was related to pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gone from, you know, the fucking maniac he was in the 80s and 90s. He's, you know, mellowed out. He yeah. just fucking sells a lot of weed and smokes a lot of weed and trains pigeons. And gets called champ all the time. And gets called champ. And I saw him smoking weed with Ric Flair on the Internet. So. I saw that, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I missed that one. Same. It's a thing. Okay. Yeah. So we uh, so we're, the, we're learning a lot today. Yeah. Aren't you glad you so guys came today? Much yes. tonight. <laughs> Discounts on your weed cards. Mike Tyson smokes and plays with birds. <laughs> <laughs> and the Kent State Golden Lager, which can be available at retailers near them and in the stadium. Fun. There you go. And upcoming, find out why certain beers aren't Oktoberfest beers. <laughs> <laughs> Still on the come up. In segment two. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, then back to Pittsburgh mm-hmm. and all the events going on this weekend. Uh, we've got a bunch because it's Pittsburgh Oktoberfest, and you're going to start with Rocktoberfest. Rocktoberfest is that being held by DVE? No, you oh. think, but no. All right. <laughs> no, Rocktoberfest is actually a Beers of the Bird production. Oh, okay. and they're holding it down at the Southside Works. All right, and it's uh, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a bunch of rock bands, mm-hmm. and they're going to have Oktoberfest beers. So pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, uh, it's headlined by Nashville, which is uh, the Byron Nash, who is the guitarist who does the uh, who always does the collaboration with Helltown, the black metal beer. OK, all right. I have Whether or not it's part of Barrel and Flow, they just do it every year. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, he'll, he'll be headlining with his band Nashville. And then some of the breweries featured will be Dancing Gnome, Centerlands, Golden Age, Old Thunder. I like that. So at least three of them know. You know what they're doing as far as loggers go? <laughs> ah, dissension. <laughs> Who am I talking bad about? <laughs> I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
none. I'm, I was gonna you know. say, wait a minute. I'm, yeah, because I'm running yeah. through the list. Like, yeah, no, I'm just so I like all of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just so notes of being a shit. <laughs> Sprinkling. <laughs> it's the shit wins, Randy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, ticket will get you in. Ticket will get you a free beer. And then, you know, you pay for the rest of your beers. Okay. And, and if you want, they, they have a purchasable beer stein that's branded with the Rocktober Festival they go. Neat. Yes. So that's one of them. Okay. The other one is Smoketoberfest is back. What is Smoketoberfest? Smoketoberfest is the one that's held by Roundabout. Uh, okay. All right. They, they do the smoked beers and the barbecues. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, as many people will know, uh, Roundabout did close their brick and mortar. Yes. But they've been running off a uh, pop up along the Ohio River Boulevard. Mm-hmm. So you, that's where it'll be. It'll buy, be by their Riverside pop up. They're promising music. Uh, they're promising smoked beers, and they're promising smoked meats. So Steve will be there. Possible. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, they will have to kick him out. Yeah, it, it. I'll just swim up, come up <laughs> out of the fucking river like a monster. <laughs> <laughs> At least this would be the Allegheny, so it'd be like a little cleaner than the Mon. No, it's the Ohio. Yeah, Ohio River Boulevard. Yeah, it's it's past. It's <laughs> wait, it's, where is this? Then? It's past the confluence. Oh, is it? So it's like if you're coming up 65 towards the city, uh, it's before the West End Bridge. So oh, I thought it was further down, like closer to the city, like no. a little before the confluence. No, you might be thinking of like Sharpsburgs. They have the. Uh, yes, that's where I'm thinking. Yeah. Dancing Gnome is right along the Allegheny. That is correct. Forget yes. I said anything. Okay. It's been okay. a long time. No, that's fine. There's plenty. There's plenty of Riverside pop ups yeah. like Abjuration had a uh, pop up for a minute, <laughs> yeah. too. So. But yeah, the they will be having smoked beers by roundabout, and then the couple of other places that'll be there for food, they'll have Blowfish Barbecue and Mindy's Take and Bake, just to name two of the four. Mm. <laughs> so yeah. Right on. All right. Expect smoked meats. And then again, ticket will get you beer and a sampling of said smoked meats. I like all those things. Yes. That's what those, those, those sounds like good things. Yes. <laughs> nice. And then just quick mentions of a few others. Uh Penn Brewery, mm. of course. Yeah, bring your milk jugs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you don't have to purchase a ticket or anything. They do, like, you can buy VIP packages. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Like, if you're rich. <laughs> <laughs> but you can reserve, like, you know, uh, under little tent situation for yourself. Mm-hmm. You can buy, like, a, a, a charcuterie platter. With it's pronounced shark coochie. Sarcu- so, I want a shark coochie. Sorry, you can get a shark coochie. Thank you. And that's probably Oktoberfest themed. But it'll have meats and such on it. So is that pretty much like getting a cabana at a Las Vegas pool? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> this is the Pittsburgh version of a cabana at a Las Vegas pool. <laughs> okay. Now that we no longer have Donsies. <laughs> or you, Sky Bar. Or Sky Bar. <laughs> Sky Bar. Wow, there's a throwback. And uh, they also have a Castlevania themed Tequila Willies. Tequila Willies and they're red. It doesn't exist it doesn't anymore. Exist anymore. <laughs> it's fine. I'd... Problem solved itself. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So they're having a Castlevania theme? Well, no, just what? the shirt. They have oh, a shirt. A shirt? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 yeah. The shirt is a. It's themed like the original uh, NES Castlevania box art. Interesting. Neat. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Something when, to think about. When is that happening? Well, the thing about Penn Brewery is they do it two weekends. <gasps> Yay! Yeah. yeah. So they'll. So it'll be this weekend and next weekend. That's awesome. So in case you go to one of the events or all the events that are this weekend, you still have next weekend for Penn Brewery. Or you could double up on charcuterie boards. Yeah. <laughs> but then also they have like they have like the traditional foods you go through a food line you get some vice first you know you get some curry first get some brat first get all the firsts which is first yes I knew that was coming you like that i was waiting it's a classic you can't you can't fight the classics <laughs> driving home from work today i saw a sign on the side of the road that said green tree uh october fest in green tree park is this weekend mm. i have no idea what that entails i have no details probably but i saw a sign on the side <laughs> of the road probably green tree and maybe sauerkraut and i'm going to guess a verse or two <laughs> i don't know well we can't do all the work for you people dear listeners <laughs> do a little work yourself find out what's yeah. going on do a google well, there, thank I'll, you. I'll mention two more. Okay. I don't have full details on them, but like there, I think they're ones probably worth. more than I have. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> <laughs> a you billboard said. at sixty-five miles an hour. Not a billboard. One of those little like, like two foot by oh, one and a half feet signs oh. on metal stakes on the okay. grass Stabbed median the <laughs> off the side of Cochrane Road. <laughs> Stabbed in the ground. Yes. Uh, but yeah, Necromancer and Cinderlands will also be having Oktoberfest celebrations. Yes. Oh yay! And, you know, 
they ha- they make good beers. Necromancer. So I support those beers. Uh, Agree. The, the way they make them. So check them out. Neat. Yep. But that's news for the week because it's all fucking Oktoberfest stuff. As well, it should be. Hooray. All right. Go hey. out and get some fucking sausages and some spatzel and have a good time. And Kent I State's haven't out there. had sausage in <laughs> two hours. Yeah, that was dinner. What a meal. <laughs> there was more stuff. There's peppers and onions and green bean uh, casserole. Oh, that's fancy. No, no, it's frozen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fancier than what I had. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, no, still wouldn't call that fancy. That's Man. like that's like a pretty easy meal to just slap yeah. together. <laughs> Did you have spam? No. Did you have McDonald's? No. Okay. Well. Are we playing a game of what did Adam have for dinner? Tonight? I'm just naming things less fancy than yeah. frozen green <laughs> bean casserole. I did not have Burger Taco King. Taco Bell. No. Fast food at all. No. Did all you right. reheat something that you had already made? No. Two Pop Tarts and a Mountain Dew. No. <laughs> bowl, of, <laughs> bowl of cereal. Yes, it was. Yes. For yes. dinner? Yes. I was. <laughs> Adam. Was it, was it Count Chocula? No, was no. Was it at least seasonal cereal? It was, was it Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Blueberry. No, it was, are we playing what cereal did <laughs> yeah. I have? All right. Let's get into this. Checks. Kellogg's no. Post. No. Brand Flakes. No. I'm just naming product. I don't know. You, you haven't even hit the production company yet. Uh, Multi meal? Yes. Wow. Mm-hmm. It was the Bag frosted cereal. shredded wheat. Ew. What? You don't like being regular? Yeah, I can do that without garbage. Well, good for you. <laughs> like, I just eat, like, I'm salad. proud of you. I just eat like salads. I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I- I eat way too much spinach and yogurt and stuff to worry about Hell that. Yeah. But I need to supplement Doo-doo myself times. with, with <laughs> painful cereal. Just gross cereal. It hurts your mouth when you eat yeah. it. It's not a good time. Have you thought about letting it soak in the milk for 30 seconds? I don't like soggy that cereal. That makes it even worse. Not for me. Ugh. The only time it's okay for mush. cereal to absorb oh, that I'm much milk I'm sorry for enjoying things. I will die on that hill. <laughs> You should be sorry for enjoying that. Get a better palate. No. <laughs> That's what this whole show is about. No. <laughs> We're not even knocking the fact that it's knockoff cereal. Yeah, it's no, that you picked a crappy knockoff cereal. Oh, no. I'll, I'll never shit on Malta Meal. Because yeah. Malta Meal is. They make no, great the business. Yeah. Superior, superior Cocoa Puffs. Yeah. They, yeah. they make I've great cereal. I've never had their Cocoa Puffs. Well, now you know to try. Mm-hmm. I don't actually know if I've ever had Cocoa Puffs. Oh. oh. That might be the bigger crime then. We have a problem. We might. What are you mm. doing with your life? Jeez. What's all this then? Susan never let me have like the super sugary cereals. I <laughs> believe every word of that actually. <laughs> <laughs> My snack as a child was carrot sticks and celery. And yeah. if I was spoiled, I got peanut butter. So I liked kicks. As an adult, I'm going yeah. ham. <laughs> yeah, we don't want a snack. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Put a little cheese on there. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. A uh, ham sandwich every day for lunch as a kid. I probably will never eat deli sliced ham <laughs> ever again. I'm out. You can say that chip chop. Nope. All right. <laughs> Negative ghost rider. All right. Delish. Well, <sighs> let's come back to the Oktoberfest beer we were drinking. Then. I like this mm-hmm. beer. I like this beer too. I like this beer as well. That Definitely too much sugar because it leaves my mouth a little sticky. But mm-hmm. yeah. I, yeah, I have a little sugar tongue, but it's not overwhelming. Yeah. I mean, and like they said, it was it was going to have like a big body on it. So that, you know, that kind of makes sense as to why mm-hmm. it's a little thicker. It's a little bigger. But yeah, I find it enjoyable and I find it Thick. more flavorable. Two C's. Yeah. It's a good. Not three. Just not two not C's. Just two. Yeah. 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 We're going to save that for the pastry stuff. Thick. Yeah. But uh, yeah, should we take a break? I am okay with taking a break. Okay. Yeah. We'll come back with a more Americanized Oktoberfest. Yeah. Yeah. And a game. Literally from the Midwest. Yes. Nice. We'll and, be back. And you'll find out why, you know, Ainger doesn't count. <laughs> Teasers. <laughs> we'll be right back. Welcome back to the Joe Tutorial. Whoa, Beautiful. Matt, this isn't an episode. It's a trailer. Well, what the hell's a trailer, Adam? It's where we tell people what they can expect from our podcast, Decaying with the Boys. Well, they can uh, expect to hear us talk shop on pro wrestling, craft beer, horror movies, and pop culture, like Britney Spears' creepy father and stuff like that. We've literally never talked about Britney, but we do take our shots at everything else you said. Well, then uh, I guess I can also tell them they can find us on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, and Anchor FM. And don't forget to find us on all social media at KNWTV. Cheers. It's episode 263 of the Hot Nation USA podcast, and you're here for segment two of our Oktoberfest episode 2022. That's a lot of twos. Got them. All twos. <laughs> twos all the way down. Except for those 
ones that weren't twos. Number twos. <laughs> yeah, dudes. It's all dudes. We have another Oktoberfest beer, but it's Oktoberfest style because it's from America and you can't call it an Oktoberfest beer. It's a sparkling Oktoberfest. That's right. <laughs> That's a wine joke, isn't it? It is it a is wine, wine joke. joke. Yeah. <laughs> it is a wine joke. And you're not terribly wrong. Why, Steve? I'll tell you later. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but first, Katie, why don't you introduce the Oktoberfest style beer from America? Uh, we have Monsterfest mm-hmm. from the Three Floyds Brewing Excellent. in Monster, Indiana. So it's a pun. <laughs> yes. Monsterfest. Monster India? No? All right. I love it. So, it. <laughs> Here for it. I love a good pun. <laughs> so 6.2% 20 IBUs. So might be too hoppy for Adam. It says a it's mar- true. <laughs> <laughs> a You'll mar- survive. <laughs> a Marzen style fest beer brewed with the finest German malted barley, aromatic Bavarian noble hops, and traditional lager yeast. Mm. Mm. This rich malty lager is one of the few that remain true to the tradition of fest beers originally brewed to honor the marriage of Prince Ludwig in 1810. Prost. 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 Neat. So here you go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's get into it. It's a beer. <laughs> All right, a beer. Let's drink it. Let's drink it. And the cap looks neat too. It's a Three Floyds cap. They all look like that. All right. The Three Floyds Munster Fest is in the glasses. It, it looks, looks very, good. It looks very nice. A touch lighter than the Hanger. Yeah. Just a touch. Like, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. A mm-hmm. touch. I don't not, think so. Not well, you know. It's, it's still apple juice. Yeah. It's it still, is. Oh, for sure. <laughs> it's still in the apple juice realm, but I think this is. Was there a head? There was a head to it. Uh, this one just. This is almost nothing on the nose to me. Yeah. I, I actually get so, a little more sweetness. A little breadiness. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm I, getting uh, getting the breadiness. I think it just it's slightly less clear than the anger as well. A little bit. A little bit. Just slightly less. Okay. Well, you know how those Americans are. Yeah. Less clear. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. Tracks. It's good. Uh it doesn't quite have the sweetness as the anger. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I like this. But it is good. This makes me happy. Yeah, I like this. The back end's a little there's something there. Yeah, just a slight astringency. A little bit. Yeah. But nothing nothing to write home about. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and I think that's also because, like, it doesn't, like, the anger starts sweet mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. ends kind of almost like the way this one starts. Yeah. So you're saying that this is the continuation. Yeah, it's like a continuation. Then this one picks up where the anger left off, but then ends with just, like, a slight astringency that just, that's it. No. So, I'll buy that for a yeah. dollar. Yeah. But no, this one's drinkable too. Yeah, it's a good mm-hmm. beer. Yeah, and like if you don't want the sweetness, then you would probably drink this one. Mm-hmm. That's all I had to say about that. Good beer. Yeah, again, That's it's hard, it's hard to really remark that much on. <laughs> you don't have a whole bunch of fucking goof ass shit to try to pick try to out. Pull apart. Yeah, I'll tell you what, this doesn't taste like. It doesn't taste like coconut. Not that it's supposed to, but it doesn't. <laughs> so there you go. I can only list the things that it isn't like. <laughs> it doesn't taste like lemon. <laughs> yeah, no lemon. How about that? <laughs> well, Three Floyds has a tendency to call their shot and succeed. So mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yes. this is a Marzen style fest yeah. beer. Yeah. yeah, reason it's a household name. Yeah, yeah. 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 The reason why people love them, reason why people drive to fucking Indiana of all places to go for a beer release. Right. <laughs> That's, I lived there. No. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But, I drove through there. No. But they have a fucking Dead. metal fest that is, you know, and a beer release. That's the same time. Mm-hmm. Like how They got you, that going for them. Yeah. How do you not enjoy that? <laughs> uh, yeah. I will say I did enjoy the metal can art. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so they're a very metal brewery. Or bottle. Art label art, I guess, in this yeah, case. Yeah, label art. They, Agreed. They, uh, I, <coughs> I believe, believe they're the ones that do the Cannibal Corpse collaboration, uh, Amber Smashed Face, which is a reference to their song Hammer Smashed Face. Oh, ah, okay. Huh. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice play on words. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do you love me some Cannibal I haven't, Corpse? I haven't had it, but I would like to have it. I will keep an eye what? out. Should I find myself in Ohio again? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> As I was there buying this beer, right. as I was there for a metal show. Well, when I've bought when I've bought my three Floyds, it's over in uh, Ohio as well. That's where I get mine. Because if I ever buy it, because they are rude and do not just extend just a little bit more. This is the least hoppy thing I've ever had from them. 
I don't know what you would pick up from three floors. This, it would be this. That's it. Pick up this, and then they have a, like a scotch ale. I do oh, like a good do. scotch. It's good, actually. Yeah. I've had it. Yeah, they have a good scotch ale. Right so. on. Okay. So what else are we doing? We'll do the game. Are we going to learn the thing yet? We're going to learn the thing. Let's hear it. Tits. But we're going to do a game, uh-huh. uh, and it's time for a classic trivia game, because yeah. now you're all gathered here around <sighs> the table. What's Katie going to lose today? The Oktoberfest trivia game. There's a shot. Can't wait. You're going to be fighting me for the bottom place. So the question, the only question remains is who wants to go first? Kelsey. Sure. <laughs> there it is. Sure. Kelsey, you moved first. I did. <laughs> and Damn it. Like, I understand you were trying to put your finger not to your nose and say it. not it, but this is much more of a Tyrannosaurus uh, type situation, and you moved and activated my vision. So. <laughs> I saw a meme Damn the other day that said T-shirt is actually short for Tyrannosaurus shirt because it's got small arms, and that made me really happy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I wish I came up with it. But yeah, we're, we'll go uh, Kelsey, Adam, Katie in that direction. Okay. But we're going to start with Kelsey and you remember the rules. I'll give you a prompt. And then if you can guess it out of the four <laughs> multiple choice I have listed, <laughs> <laughs> you'll get two points. But if you go for the multiple choice, you can get one. If you miss it, it's up for steals. Are you ready, Kelsey? Can we have a quarter of a point if we guess the wrong answer and it's one of the four that you've wrote down? Ooh. Without Ooh. having been fed. Oh. I like <laughs> I that. I like this addition. Yeah. We, okay. We, <laughs> okay. Thank you for that. Thank a quarter you. of a point. Why are you excited? <laughs> you somehow get a quarter of a point from guessing the wrong answer? Sure. Fine. You know what? If I can win a quarter to a point to zero, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Everyone's a winner. <laughs> it, could, it could make all the difference, so we'll see. Uh, but Kelsey, your first question is, which brewery does not brew Oktoberfest beer? Get that quarter point. <laughs> <laughs> Same Miller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many options that I could go with. Uh, yeah, I, so many options, but... Not... Any that are on your list, I feel like. Right. Can I have the list, please? Your choices are Hacker Shore, Weinstefaner, Hofbrau, or Lowenbrau. Which one does not brew Oktoberfest beer? Mm. I'm going to go with Lowenbrau. <laughs> Incorrect. Oh. oh. Adam for steals. <clears throat> I'll go Weinstefaner. Weinstefaner is correct. Weinstefaner does not brew Oktoberfest beer. I did not know that. Uh, I didn't know that. Either. I would have gone Lowenbrau. <laughs> So, Hacker Shore, Hofbrau, and Lowenbrau all brew Oktoberfest beer. And Oktoberfest beer is the very specific designation of beer that is brewed within Munich, mm. within the city limits of Munich. <laughs> okay. So, even though I believe Weinstefaner is within Bavaria. It's not within Munich. It's not within Munich. And Anger is also within Munich. or is Well, it's within the Munich district yeah, but- of Bavaria. But it's not within the city limits of Munich. Ah, it's okay. It's like 15 miles outside. <laughs> so so they close. Get, they get discluded. That's It's like if if like the Pittsburgh Brewing Guild mm-hmm. discluded Helicon. <laughs> it's that fucking close. <laughs> but I that's did what, not know that. Yeah, that's, what Anger, that's why Anger is it's a Bavarian beer company. Mm-hmm. And they're so close to Munich. And they're very old. And they've been brewing. Oktoberfest, but that's why it says Oktoberfest Märchen and not Oktoberfest. Yeah, an Oktoberfest beer. Huh. And uh, because of that, they just have their own Oktoberfest on the outskirts in the countryside. So yeah, like blackjack yeah. and hookers. That's right. <laughs> so there you go. What? That's how you learn. How'd you get there? Yeah. Really? That's an old Futurama reference. Oh. oh. There you go. Yeah. I haven't I watched Futurama it. in almost two days. See? Well, you got to go back. I think it's a season one. It's when they're on the moon. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a season one episode. It was Fry figuring out he has lots of money in the bank. Ah, that's a good episode. And the sardines and mom. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a good episode. Yeah, there you go. Adam, your question. <laughs> okay. Should I choose to accept it? The answer sure. is two. <gasps> she Four. gets a quarter point. Mm-hmm. Beer Corner USA of Nebraska. What? Is, it's a, yeah, it's a feature. And it's basically four beer stores on the corner in Omaha, Nebraska. Okay. <laughs> That's what it is. It features a classic tavern uh, for 
craft beer tastings, mm-hmm. a more classic, uh, like tap room of like 45, just beer taps. Okay. But like no telling what's going to be on there, a bottle shop. Mm-hmm. And then in the below, there is a German beer hall, which features a German beer. Okay. What's the question? <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> okay. I we were just going on just a nice little side you were, adventure. You were staring at me like a deer, so I was trying to explain <laughs> this. I'm, I'm waiting for the payoff here. They'll be holding their 21st annual Oktoberfest mm-hmm. in the beer hall. What is a fest they don't hold, though? <laughs> I Give me the list. Your choices are Bach Fest, Polish Fest, Reuben Fest, or Breakfast Fest. You really weren't going to guess Breakfast Fest? Without the multiple choice, that's just so obvious. I was thinking about Breakfast Fest. <laughs> breakfast Fest. <clears throat> Although, I could go for Bach, Omelette. Poland, what was that? Other Bach, one? Polish Fest, Reuben Fest, and Breakfast Fest. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Breakfast Fest. Breakfast Fest? Yeah. Point for Adam. Boom! They don't hold Breakfast Fest. That's silly, they should. At the beer that's, corner. <laughs> that sounds amazing. I agree. They have four corners to use. I'm sure it sounds amazing, and that sounds like something either Denny's or IHOP should hop on. But... They do hold Bach Fest for all your Bach beers, mm-hmm. a Polish Fest for all your Polish f- foods, yeah. and a Reuben Fest because mm-hmm. it's Nebraska. Exactly. That was the one, easy one. If there's one fucking thing you've learned from this show, <laughs> it's that Rubens come from Nebraska. <laughs> now I know. Yeah. It's true. It's a thing. It's a thing. I remember the episode. I just, yeah. Yeah, it gets I wouldn't, mentioned. I wouldn't it does. retain anything <laughs> about Rubens. So. Rubens are delicious. Yeah, yes, they oh, are. I could go for a, Re- a Ruben and an omelet day. That might be my Saturday. It's a good day. Why don't you just make a Ruben omelet? Yeah. No, with no, no, rye no, toast. No, 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 no. Mm, with rye toast. I'm gonna but just make a Reuben sandwich. Well, yeah, I'm, yeah. I, I would. I would separate. I don't the two. know why you're limiting yourself. You just have a Reuben omelet for breakfast and then a yeah, Reuben sandwich with for the dinner beef, mm-hmm. with the Swiss cheese in there and the omelet, rye toast. I will turn pretty much any leftovers into an omelet. Yeah. Okay. I'm not very skilled in the omelet arts. I need to get better. It could just that. become a frittata at that it point. It usually yeah. does, or it just or a scramble. Or a scramble. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. None of it is wrong. No, it's all just eggs and stuff. <laughs> Katie, your question. Who invented Oktoberfest? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that Ludwig dude. Uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> Multiple choice. <laughs> Multiple choice? Yeah. Was it Therese of Saxony Hilbergenhausen? Was it Alexei Johnson von Bilderberg? Was it Andreas Michael del Amani? Or was it Wolfgang Sesser? Uh, let's go with Wolfgang because I don't think it was Bilderberg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wolfgang Sesser is the current brewmaster of Polliner, so no. <laughs> I got that wrong. Get it, Kels. Kelsey. Yeah. Up for steel. Pick Build a Bear. <laughs> <laughs> I want whatever the second one is. Build a Bear. The, sex- the second one? Yeah. Alexi Jones and Von Bilderbergen? Yeah. Build a yeah. Bear. Yeah. No. That's an Alex Jones fucking joke. <laughs> what? Alex uh, Jones Bilderberg? <laughs> Okay. I didn't get that's, it. I know. Well, yeah. haha. That's wrong. <laughs> it's not Build a Bear. I guess not. Adam. <laughs> also, wasn't that Ludwig fucker? So yeah. Do I know. So. What are my remaining options? Your choices are Therese of Saxony Hildeberghausen or Andreas Michael del Armani. I'm going to go with the first one. No. Okay. Theresa of Saxony Hildeberghausen. Was who married Ludwig? Oh, silly me! In the Oktoberfest first celebration, duh. <laughs> <I'll be. laughs> and Andreas, why like, do I have egg on my face? <laughs> as well, you should. You're on a beer because we had omelets. <laughs> <laughs> You're on a beer podcast. You should have a little. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Uh, Andreas Michael Dal Armani was the member of the National Guard who proposed having a horse race in order to celebrate. The wedding of Therese and Ludwig. Huh. National Guard's dumb. Well, sure. <laughs> they, have, they have Humvee races now. <laughs> we actually did have a drag race. Some fucking classic cars on the uh, flight line once. That was... It, did, it was not well received. I think I saw a video of that. Yes. I think it ended up on the news. It totally did. <laughs> it 100% did. We had fun at family day. What can I tell you? <laughs> All right, Kelsey. Back to you. Great. Time for the questions. Which is first? Yes. For your waistline. What Oktoberfest food has the most calories per serving? 
Jeez. <laughs> what? According to the Oktoberfest website. According to the Oktoberfest website? Yeah. As they've listed them. He didn't say you couldn't Google it. You can't Google it. <laughs> <laughs> he has now said you can't Google it. Um, I'm going to need options. Your <laughs> options are a half roast chicken. Okay. Two vice vests. Okay. Cheese pretzel. Okay. Or a Kaiser Charm pancakes with raisins and applesauce. Ooh. I'd fuck up some cheese pretzel right now. <laughs> I'm going to go with the cheese pretzel. Cheese pretzel? Mm-hmm. Incorrect. <laughs> Adam. Pancakes. Or yeah. sauce. It's pancakes or sausage. I thought the cheese, it's like the, pasta. I had done like the same thing. And... It's also half a chicken. It's also half a chicken. I mean. Half, half a chicken, chicken, two sausages. How big is the pancakes? Read the pancakes thing again. It's the Kaiser Charm pancakes with raisins and applesauce. Those could go either way, though. They could be like a little potato pancake. They could be like a Dutch baby. Like, I don't know the size of that. I ate a whole Dutch baby to the head once with a side of bacon. That's really good. That's impressive. That is impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking about just the mound yeah. of food that that would be. Yeah. That's bigger than a Calvarito. Nice. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to go with the... The sausages. The two sausages. Two Weisswurst? Yeah. No, that's actually what's best for you. Yeah, I wouldn't go oh. Which is best. Yeah. Uh, two Weisswurst is best for you. Not vest. Is it pancakes? <laughs> it is the pancakes. I told you to go oh. with the pancakes. Damn it. The Kaiser Charm pancakes with raisins and applesauce coming at 800 calories. Shit. Kaiser Charm. They are. Kaiser Charm. Kaiser Charm. Uh, they are, uh, if you get them without the applesauce, though, mm -hmm. they come in lower than the spatzel and the chicken. Oh. Yeah. But it so it's the applesauce that sets you it's over. It's the applesauce. Too Probably because it's homemade. Too much sugar. Too much sugar. Yeah. Gets bad you every time. Bad for you. So uh, it's you not, know. if it's good for your soul, it's not bad well, for yeah. you. It's true. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. good and bad is fucking terrible. If that's variable. all you're eating. It's not all I'd be eating. <laughs> <laughs> you pair that with a salad balance. Yeah. yeah. Like health and fitness. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. Duh. All right, Adam. On to you. Let's, let's, let's make this happen. What is Bavaria? It's, it's I was not prepared a, for this existential <laughs> question. What is it is Bavaria? A, it's a cream inside of a donut. It's a people, not a place. You know what? Nobody ever asks, how is Bavaria? <laughs> Why is Bavaria? <laughs> Bavaria seems to be pretty okay because they're having Oktoberfest. That's so true. They're fine. You don't have to ask how. <laughs> so can I have my option? Sure. Is it a state? Is it a berserke? Is it a Landkreisen? Or is it a municipality? Say those words without an accent. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bavaria. Yeah. Is, is it a state? Bavaria. It is not a municipality it's because a we already covered that. It's a okay. pretzel. Get out of here. <laughs> Go on, get. <laughs> <laughs> and a donut filling. Yeah. I am helping. <laughs> Are you? Or <laughs> hurting. So what were my options again after I was rudely interrupted? <laughs> so apparently hurting. <laughs> and helping. Is it a state? Is it a berserker? Or is it a land crisis? Or is it a municipality? This is a Landkreiser. Are you, is that your guess? Sure. Okay. No. Okay. Katie. I don't understand the options because I don't know what you're saying. I'm saying what is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it a state? Is it a berserker? Or is it a municipality? What is a berserker? Whatever. <laughs> I'm not telling you because it gives you answers. <laughs> I don't know what word you're saying. I'm just, now my brain's just doing Jay and Silent Bob outside of the fucking cookie mark. Not berserker. <laughs> Not berserker. <laughs> berserker. Berserke? Berserke. Spell it. B-E-Z-I-R-K-E. Oh, if I'd have known that. Sure. I still wouldn't have gotten it. Sure. <laughs> Maybe what's a state, be or berserker, state or, or what? Municipality. <laughs> Trying to use context clues. Hold on. I'm going to say municipality. It is not a municipality. All right. It's a Kelsey. I got berserker and what else? State. It's state. a berserker. It's not a berserker. A Would state. you like to suck my... <laughs> is it a state? It's a state. Yes. It's a state. <laughs> it's a state. <laughs> it is the free state of Bavaria. Yes. It is a state. <laughs> I knew that when you asked the question, so okay. I knew it wasn't. <laughs> yes, Bavaria is a state. They have 16 states in Germany. Bavaria yes. is one of them. All yes. right, then. And then everything else is a descending... Split. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So there you go. I only have one state. It is the state of confusion. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
You also have the last question. <laughs> oh. Of the regular round. Oh. <laughs> Which Oktoberfest in America has been running the longest of these choices? <laughs> <laughs> Of these, I mean, if you can, if you all can, right, read the choice. <laughs> if, you can, if you can name me the longest one for sure, because I couldn't find the for sure longest one, but uh, nah, have, re- yeah. read the choices, please. Your choices are Cincinnati, La Crosse, Wisconsin, Big Bear, California, or Nashville. Cincy, Cincinnati is not correct. I lose, Kelsey, Wisconsin. Lacrosse, La Wisconsin, is correct. Hey, it's been running for fifty-eight years. Cincinnati celebrates its forty-sixth year. Same. Mm-hmm. Big year. Uh, Big Bear, California, forty-eight. Nashville, forty-two. So Big Bear. He's Big iron Bear. tough. Big Bear. Final round, and this is for all the points because it's basically tied two to one. So <laughs> basically tied. Basically tied. <laughs> I have no points. You have one you point. You have one point. What I get right? The pancake. Yeah, the pancake. Yeah, you got oh. it. You were there. Yeah. It's a thing. Hence the state of confusion. <laughs> right. So, yeah, basically tied 2-2-1. Two, two, <laughs> uh, so, it's for two points. So, whatever. All right. Uh, your question, though, is, I want the opening year of the oldest brewery in Germany and add it to the number of imperial ounces in a Liederstein. A liter stein? A liter stein, which is a stein that's a liter big. <laughs> I don't want a liter stein. I want a large cola. <laughs> or a goddamn large stein. <laughs> All right, Farva. Does this look like spit to you? <clears throat> Mash, hold on. I'm going to go 1612. Okay, mm-hmm. Adam goes with 1612. I forget the Actually, question. The oldest brewery in Germany mm-hmm. and the ounces in a liter stein? Mm-hmm. Ounces Imperial. Ounces Imperial. Mm. Nah, I'm sticking with it. Okay. I'm sticking I don't think it's right, but I'm sticking with it. Okay. I think I fumbled that one. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to make a fucking <laughs> Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Put it in. Kevin Smith won't sue you. <laughs> I need I need some answers. I was gonna yeah. say, I'm already done here. I'm <laughs> this question is ticking clock berserk. <laughs> Uh, 1163. 1163 from Kelsey. 879. 879. Go low. Go low. Your answer goes like this. The opening year of the oldest brewery in Germany is 1040. Go, go, Kels. It is the Weinstefaner <coughs> brewery. Yeah. And the ounces in a Liederstein is 35 Point one nine five oh eight. So what's the answer? So the answer is ten seventy five. And what did Kelsey guess? Eleven sixty three. Yeah, yeah, nicely done. <laughs> so yeah, closest goes to Kelsey. Katie uh, loses again. For those of you keeping track at home, <laughs> yes, Katie loses with one <laughs> point. <of> the list. <laughs> Katie loses with one point. Kelsey wins with three points, and Adam is in between. <laughs> yeah, there's worse places to be. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> So that's how you play. Hey, Octo- Kelsey! Hooray! Hooray! That's how you play the 2022 Oktoberfest trivia quiz game of fun. I liked it. I it was too. educational. So you liked it because you won. You know, it's true. That always <laughs> helps. I also yes, learned does. a lot. <laughs> I did too. That was fun entertainment. You learned you can eat a whole fucking chicken for dinner. Or a half chicken for dinner. Mm-hmm. I've eaten a half chicken for dinner before. Because yeah, it's like only 700 calories and that's right in yeah. line. So. Nope. so we got chicken for the draft party. And Jeff and I were eating chicken for the whole week. Hell yeah. And I was like, I can't eat any more, no chicken, more chicken at the end of the week. I was like, mm-hmm. I need something else. I have An too egg, much- <laughs> maybe. I, I had so many way. eggs, too. <laughs> I have too much Catholic guilt to take uh, all those chickens when I go home. So <laughs> <laughs> No. I can take some, but I can't take them you all. You can take a whole of it, <laughs> Steve. I know, but I can't. A Catholic guilt <laughs> precludes me from taking too much from, you know, hosts of parties. You took chicken, right? No. No, yeah, he just dill. left. Yeah. Like, Poof. Like a dill. I actually left stuff. I was not. I noticed. I <laughs> yeah. He just left like Rude. a dill. <laughs> Did. That's right. <laughs> I took a bunch of shit to uh, work after my birthday party. Nice. nice. All right. Well, let's come back. To the Munster Fest and the Oktoberfest beers in general, we've been drinking <coughs> good beer. Uh, do you have any more remarks on Munster Fest? No, I liked that. I liked it too. It didn't leave the same sticky sweetness. 
No, so. no. Yeah. Yeah, my mouth was relatively clean after drinking it. Uh, so if we want to do a podium, we can. Sure. Why yeah. not? Let's yeah. get in on that. And think think about a third beer you've had this week if you would like to compare, or just throw a shout out. But uh, I'll go first because I know what I'm picking. Okay. Okay. That Peter Straub I had early in the fucking week or last week or whatever. I don't know. I think it was on an episode of Halloween is Forever. Go listen to that. It's fucking spooky season, everybody. We're doing spooky movies. Yeah. That's what you should. But the Peter Straub I had on that show fucking blows next to all these two (laughs) beers. (laughs) Wow. It was not good now that I've had much better and like even like classic, (laughs) you know, like it's the real stuff. (laughs) It's the way I call it. It's the real stuff. It's from Bavaria. It's close enough. Peter Straub, get your shit together. Um, so that's bronze. <laughs> Silver, I'm going to give to the... I'm going to give to the Munster Fest. I mean, it's it's really hard to just parse these two out because, again, we're just talking about a specific style. And when you do the style right, there's nothing wrong. Mm-hmm. So it's just kind of a matter of what you feel like tasting. And I feel like a little something more sweet. Then uh, I feel like... The sweetness of the anger will be better with the, the salty pork products, mm. the pork knuckle. and the <laughs> <laughs> Pork knuckle. It'll balance the other food you're supposed to be drinking. Whereas, you know, the Munster Fest is fine, but it, it's also generally kind of unremarkable. It's just nice and clean and easy drinking and a little bit bready. And just that slight astringency, like I said. Nice. So, yeah, it's good. So that goes silver and then anger goes gold. Okay. Yeah. Next. Casey? You guys both have to talk at the same time. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, sure. I, uh, I'm i just going to do these two because what else I drank this week does not even you deserve. Can put, you, you can put Miller Lite at the bottom. Great. I'm going to put Miller Lite <laughs> at the bottom then. Where it belongs. If you were drinking trash, it doesn't matter if they weren't yeah. Oktoberfest. If you were drinking trash that you would not fucking drink over these, that's oh, fine. Oh, yeah. No, I'm going to put Miller Lite at okay, the bottom then. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'm going to follow Steve. I'm going to put this monster... But in the second spot and then the anger in the first. I don't know. Something about that sweetness just keeps like taking me back a little bit. I'm like, mm. if I'm going to do an Oktoberfest, I want it to be mm. a full stein of an Oktoberfest yeah. beer. Although this Three Floyds is quite delicious for trying to replicate something. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy with both of them. <sighs> Not the Miller Lite. <laughs> Not the Miller Lite. <laughs> Katie, Adam? Um... I would go with, by your same logic, I, I, I would go with the uh, the anger in the bronze and my Brooklyn in uh, silver and the Monster Fest in gold. Because I had Brooklyn Oktoberfest uh, at home. And basically because it's how you feel about wanting sweetness right now. Mm-hmm. And I get it. Not really feeling it just had a syrupy it tasted good it just had a syrupy quality a little bit mouthfeel that i just not really in the mood for sure that's fair all. enough that. makes sense yeah mm-hmm. brooklyn another fine brewery so yeah. yes it is yeah. nothing <laughs> no uh, shocks so uh for me i'm gonna go two and i'm gonna do an honorable mention so i'm going to put the three floyds in the silver uh-huh. fine beer would yeah. definitely drink it again uh same logic i did want a little bit more of that sweetness yeah. So anger goes in the cold. Yeah. I'm going to give an honorable mention to the Oktoberfest by Toppling Goliath. Nice. I had that over the weekend. Good oh. beer. I enjoyed it. I bet. Uh, and, I, and I know that if it was at the stable here, it would get a, uh, a fair showing as well. Sure. Uh, but I don't want to wedge it in between the, the ones that we had tonight. So it just gets an honorable mention. Fair enough. So good yeah. beers all around. Yeah. It's, a, it's an interesting thing with these craft breweries like, you know, Three Floyds and, you know, Toppling Goliath, like you just mentioned, and even Brooklyn. It's just like, they, you, you don't usually chase them for their Oktoberfests. But when they're there. Yeah, when you're there, you drink them. But it's like you you think far more of like Zombie Dust and Alpha King. And, mm-hmm. You know, like there's so many other beers that are great that are specific to the way uh, Three Floyds makes beer. To be fair, that's why I to be fair. Went, to be fair. Uh, That's why I actually went after the Toppling Goliath because I knew, you know, Mm -hmm. their their other wares are well regarded looking at, you know, the pseudo Sue and stuff like that. So I knew they had to know what they're doing. Yeah. And they did. Yeah. As it turns out. Yeah. I think I think probably the most 
one probably one of the most revered Oktoberfest styles that are made in America is the uh, New Glarus. I think it's called the Staghorn. Yes, I and think I, a lot. Yeah, I, and I believe we've had that on the show. Yeah, it might have been had last year. Yeah, it was. So, mm. yeah, that's probably one of the more revered ones, and that's also a good one. But you know, and also you know, if what, you're ever in Wisconsin, <laughs> yeah, if you're ever in Wisconsin and you feel the need to fill up some extra trunk space, bring some new Glarus back to us. Yeah, let us know, please, and thank you. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, but throw a suitcase out, put more beer in. <laughs> Or just take an empty suitcase with you. Ah. Yeah. Or just rent a cargo van. Or do that. Rent a U-Haul. Yes. Please and thank you. <laughs> but, all right. Well, Katie, Kelsey, do you guys have anything you want to promote? You're promoting anything? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Gobbleritos. <laughs> Gobbleritos. <laughs> is the uh, Brewing Up a Cure ticket still on sale? Should be, yeah. They are, yes. Yeah. yeah. By that, that benefits cystic fibrosis. That's a pretty cool. Uh, it's a really cool fundraiser. There's usually really awesome things being raffled off, and uh, you know, yeah. beer. There ba- you go. And Bash Brew will be down there, and they're brewing up a dark. Oh, English bitters. I right, uh, Adam. If you guys are on any Pittsburgh social media stuff, um, find uh, Bash Brew on there because he has apparently kegs full of beer that he needs to get rid of so that he can brew more beer to put in the kegs. Yes. So <laughs> go get his beer. Yeah. yeah. He's pretty centrally located too, actually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Easy if you're in the city or on the west side of the city. Yeah. So help, help a beer guy out. Yeah. Reach out. Get mm-hmm. in contact I with I believe him. the, what did he have? It was a pineapple jalapeno or something. He has the South of Heffy right now. He has that. The South of Heffen. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's, yeah. Check yeah. that one out. It's a medal winner. It won the fucking North Hills Home Brew Fest. Yes. And Slayer. So his two. That. His two. He's that one, and I think the other one's Jalapeno mm-hmm. or something. Mm-hmm. I don't it remember. Might be. Yeah. Nice. But yeah. Okay. Kelsey, nothing. Uh, you know, not at the moment. More gobblerito and more gobblerito in. Yeah. I mean, it's about to be spooky season, so like spooky. You know. Okay. Cool. Be a good person. Promo- yeah. Be a good person. Promoting candy and skeletons. But you know what too. I'd like to put out there. If you're not passing anybody in the state of Pennsylvania, it's illegal to be in the left lane for more than a mile. So if y'all get the fuck out of my way, that'd be great. Thank you and have a great night. <laughs> Adam looks triggered by that. Well, <laughs> I am. Most, most, people, most people should be. And it's like, it's in the fucking test book. So, yeah. 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 Don't get figure me, it out. Don't get me started. I've been driving a lot lately. It's yeah. really, that's mm-hmm. like, yeah. I could go on a grind my gear soapbox yeah. about yeah. driving. Right now. Yeah. Well, we'll start a different podcast yeah. and put yeah. it on Patreon or whatever. For yeah. that. Bonus episode. Cool. Let's. We'll, let Katie and Ad, we'll let Katie and Adam have driving grapes. <laughs> you won't really get seen when I'm on the road. We will not have a shortage of content. That's I promise. Right. On the next episode of Ooh, Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, motherfucker. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my lane. <laughs> Welcome back to Ooh Bitch. This week we're talking turn signals. <laughs> oh, God. This week on Ooh Bitch, we're going to talk about tailgating someone. <laughs> Listen, all I'm telling you guys out there is don't ride. If you see a red Buick Enclave, don't fucking ride its ass. That's my cousin. He'll pull that e brake to fucking <laughs> protect your ass. So you won't even see the lights. He has just, nothing to leave. Just, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. All right. Well, if you want to. Send us your driving gripes. I'm sure Adam will be, you know, thrilled to read them and agree with you. Whole I will. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> but uh, you can send all those to our social medias at Hop Nation USA on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And if you want to listen to brand new episodes of the Hop Nation USA podcast every Friday, as you should, then search Hop Nation USA in your favorite podcatcher, like Stitcher Pod, being Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, anything that starts in pod or ends in cast. Also find us on that Good Pods HQ. The number food number four food podcast. Oh, awesome. oh yeah. Yes. Mm. We're coming for your number three spot. <clears throat> it's because Adam and I talk about food all the time. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> we're the number four food podcast on Good Pods, and we're the number three <clears throat> beer podcast in Pittsburgh, and then we're the number one beer podcast in Saudi Arabia that one time somebody listened to us. Yes. <laughs> and number one in your hearts. Yeah. So there you go. But yeah, search us up, and if you're on any of those platforms, leave a five star review because because we are a six omelet show, but they only let us have five. That's a bigger crime than trying to make a French omelet with things inside of it. 
Oh, yeah. you shouldn't. true. Because you shouldn't. That's true. <laughs> I, I'm all trifold. Don't look at me. No. <laughs> the French omelet is all about simplicity mm-hmm. and yes. just being nice and smooth and kind of wet egg on the inside. Yes. It's, it's nice. Yeah. It's nice. You cannot fucking do them. They're hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're super hard to do. Yeah. Can't do. But maybe it's a little like creme fraiche on top and maybe like a nice chive. Yeah. Yeah. I, mar- I marvel at French omelets and omarice. The omarice is mind blowing every time I watch that a video of it. Can't fucking do either. I don't even know what we're talking about. Omarice? That it's uh, it's the Japanese, Japanese style, style of omelet, but they lay the omelet on like a bed of rice and then they cut it open and it opens well, it's up, up and it's uh, like yeah. wet I've and then that. they top it with gravy. It's still like soft scrambled on the inside. Yeah. And then when they put the gravy on, it should cook it the rest of the way. Yeah, through. and then there's gotcha. like you scramble it real fast, and then there's like a technique, and you're like hitting the wrist and, they and do like it with bumping the pan. Sticks, right? Yeah. Like, um. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. That's yeah. incredible. It's all about like the technique with the pan and the wrist and mm-hmm. the, the bumping and. Yeah. I made the super fluffy Japanese pancakes one time. Ooh. Ooh. It was like an inch and a half thick yeah. pancake. Yeah. <laughs> it's like this is insane. <laughs> you made awesome. a biscuit souffle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it's really just normal pancakes, but you beat the egg whites first. It's yeah, it's not that hard. Did you use a mold or anything, or did you just like freeform that? Um, I have an egg pan that is oh nice, mm. probably about four inches across. Yeah. It's got a little egg at the end of the handle. That's perfect. Yeah, nice. Well, there you go. Tips. That's a good two dollar buy. Cooking tips. Cooking tips. <laughs> the other the other podcast is going to be on the Patreon. Cooking tips. <laughs> but can we combine cooking tips and road rage? Yes. <laughs> cooking tips i would listen to that <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> for people who drive angrily home to cook dinner <laughs> that's everyone <laughs> yeah that's, that's yeah. just life i mean that's except adam who had a bowl of cereal <laughs> there's no oh, cooking yeah it's a, it's a very american podcast so <laughs> that is correct so what am i gonna have for dinner now it's niche yeah. I, I don't, don't know. know. You can go. You can go check get go. See if they got the fucking the Thanksgiving sub. Ooh, I Ooh. think it's a, the Pilgrim. Pilgrim. I don't know if it's see Pilgrim if season back. yet. Though. No, I, I think that's just November. I think it might be October. It I think might they be. extend it to October. I don't know, man. I still want them to bring back the fucking ghost pepper. <laughs> yes. that, that was a good one. That was a good one. Yes. It's filling. too expensive. It's too expensive for them to make. Yeah, especially in this too economy. expensive for me to buy. Yeah, that too. In this economy, <laughs> you can't be putting habanero <laughs> hot cheese and then. Jalapeno poppers on the same sandwich. That's crazy. Get it's out of too town. much. Fuck, that sounds good. I didn't have that. It's great, but it was years ago. We'll have to wait till next episode to see if they Chef have Tom, it. if you're listening to this, <laughs> get at us. Get we want to come up to the test kitchen. We will recipe test any of your hot stuff that you want us to. Mm. I will also pitch you ideas. <laughs> yes, exactly. So Chef Tom, or if anyone at Gecko Kitchens is listening, yeah. hit us up. We're coming. Day, we want this. pitching recipe. Yeah. <laughs> but, All right. In the meantime, join us next week. We have an episode lined up. We're going to have a guest. It'll be a Zoom episode, but we are talking about something interesting. Yes, we are. So, Should be a good episode. I'm looking forward yeah. to it. Yes. So in the meantime. Bye. 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 Enjoy your Oktoberfest. <laughs>